hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to do one azure data factory project so our requirement is like we have to transfer our data from our rest api to adls location to adls location so from rest api whatever the data we are getting we have to transfer this into a azure data lake storage so that is the requirement we have if i will show you so we are getting our data like this so this is from the rest api we are getting our data like this from this data we have to transfer into a, our azure data lake storage and also one thing we have to remember we only had to transfer our data in a proper format you can see here it is coming like page per page total and all also right that we do not have to copy we only want uh, this proper column like we have a id we have a email and then we have a first name then last name avatar this all the kind of the things whatever we are getting in the form of the array that only we have to copy and this we do not have to copy so that is the requirement we have and this kind of the requirement generally you will see in a real time where you have to transfer a data from a rest api to a dls location so that's why i am making this particular video and so many people ask for this video also so what we have to do we have to transfer a data from a rest api to the azure data lake storage so that is the requirement so let's start practical so I have created one storage account in this storage account I have one of the container input container as of now there is no file available here now I am using this particular uh, URL you can also use the same URL in this uh, URL uh, we will use it for the practice so this URL we will use it for the practice HTTPS requres dot in api users if you will type here you will get this particular data so that get data from the rest api we are getting right that we have to transfer into a azure data lake storage so that is the requirement so this is our source and our target is a storage account now let's create a pipeline so come here click on the pipeline click on the new pipeline click on the move and transfer because we are performing a copy data click here first we will go to the source first we will create a data set so here we have to select our source is the rest api right so search for the rest you can see this rest is coming you have to select that after that we have to create a link service click on this we have to paste the url so this is the url right so that we will select paste that this particular url authentication type as of now we don't need uh, because directly it is coming from this url but if you have then you can use uh, this all the authentication method which is available whatever so in real time if you will be having a auth zero client credential and all that actually we can use so except now i am going with the anonymous server certification it will be enabled and after that we have to select the test connection if it is success then we are good you can see it is success now click on the create now click on the create you can see request method is a get and if i will click on the preview data i should be able to preview that so you can see i am able to preview my data so the data is coming like this you can see we have a page per page total total page and after that the data is coming so this data only we have to copy like we want a data like id email first name last name and avatar then we want id email first name last name avatar this is coming as a array format the multiple json file right so that only we have to copy now what we will do we will go to the our sync location in this sync, sync first we will create a data set click on the new our uh, sync is a blob storage so i will select that i want as a csv file so i will select that i will create a link service click on this click on the subscription click on the storage account and then click on the create our link service will be ready where you want to copy that for path you have to select so i want to copy here so i select this and after that click on the ok now my sync is ready now after that you have, what you have to do go into the mapping and here you have to click on the first import schema once you will click on the import schema by default it will not select it will not be selected this okay By default, it will be you can see collect reference is a blank, and once you will click on the import schema, uh, you will uh, get this all the options. Now 
what actually we want we don't want a page per page total and total page we only want to have a id email first name last name and author this only column we want we don't want total page so if i'll show you in my source if i'll preview this data you can see our data is coming like this first page per page total total page and after that the data is coming so we only want to have this uh, data which we want to copy like in this data we have id email first name last name and author so this only i want to copy so this value should go into the column column and the row so i don't want this page per page total total page i only want this data you can see this is a multiple it is in array format multiple data is coming so uh, that we will copy so now what we will do we'll go to our sync we'll go to our mapping in this mapping you can see we have a page per page total total page this we don't want so you can delete this you can delete this you can delete this and you can delete this now we want id email first name last name our data is coming like a in a array format like in a array we have a multiple data right but as of now you can see by default it is coming 0 0 0 index means it will only copy the first row to overcome this what we will do in the collect reference we have to select the data this is the data right so that we have to select and click on the import schema once you will do this so we want id email first name last name avatar so this we want to copy and this page per page this we can delete this we don't want this we don't want this we don't want total page this we don't want this we don't want so uh, this all the things we have deleted only this we want to copy this and if you want to select the type that also you can se select like whether it should be integer uh, all the things you can select so let me select the string it should be first name also should be string so i select this all string this also should be an string format now after that what we will do our sync is ready source is ready we'll click on the debug once you'll click on the debug uh, your pipeline is running now our data should get copied into the uh, adls location as a csv file now let's wait it to be completed you can see it is succeed now now what we'll do i'll go to the my blob storage account this is the storage account this is the input container i'll refresh it you can see this is the data click here go to the edit you can see the data got copied like we have id email first name last name and avatar this only column we wanted to copy right so this all the data got copied so that's how actually we can copy a data from a rest api to blob storage so i hope you got the idea that's it in this thanks